An interesting chemical property of most metals of the periodic table is that they react to dilute acids to produce the corresponding metal salt along with the release of hydrogen gas. This property is often utilized for the preparation of hydrogen gas on a small scale in the laboratory. Probably the most common metal used for this is the metal zinc. Zinc is made to react with a dilute acid, either hydrochloric or sulfuric acid, to produce the gas. The hydrogen produced, being insoluble in water and lighter than atmospheric air, is then collected by an ingenious process known as downward displacement of water, wherein the gas produced is allowed to bubble into an upside-down jar filled with water. The collected gas may then be analyzed further. To perform this experiment, you'll need the following. Wolf bottle or a 250ml round bottom flask or a 250ml Erlenmeyer flask. For this experiment, I'll be using Wolf bottle, which is the most common glassware depicted in textbook diagrams for the reaction of zinc with an acid. Two rubber corks that will fit in the two mouths of the Wolf bottle. One rubber cork has a thistle funnel or a dropping funnel inserted in its hole. The other cork has a delivery tube bent in four places as shown here. In case you're using a round bottom flask or a conical flask, you will need just one rubber cork with two holes drilled in it. One hole has a thistle funnel inserted and the other hole has the delivery tube inserted in it. Zinc granules dilute sulfuric or dilute hydrochloric acid. For this experiment, I'll be using dilute sulfuric acid. A trough or a large beaker. A beehive shelf. A gas jar or a large test tube. A few wooden splints and a matchbox. You can also use a candle. To begin the experiment, first introduce a few pieces of zinc granules into the wolf bottle or whichever type of bottle you're using. Next, stopper the two holes of the bottle with the rubber corks pre-inserted with the thistle funnel and the delivery tube. Immerse the free end of the delivery tube into the water contained in the trough or beaker. Now carefully pour enough of the dilute sulfuric acid into the thistle funnel until the lower end of the funnel is submerged in the acid. Observe closely. The moment the acid comes in contact with the zinc granules, an effervescent reaction begins and bubbles of a gas are released from the surface of the zinc granules. Next, place the beehive shelf over the delivery tube immersed in the water and then place the gas jar filled with water upside down on top of the beehive shelf, like so. You can also use a large test tube instead of a gas jar. Allow the gas to completely fill the jar. Once it's completely filled, Cover the mouth of the jar with a glass plate or a watch glass and remove the jar from the water. Remove the lid from the jar while still holding the jar upside down and bring a burning splint or a candle or a lighted match stick close to the mouth of the jar. You will observe that the gas in the jar violently ignites with a characteristic pop sound. The reaction of zinc metal with dilute sulfuric acid can be summarized by the chemical equation shown here. The end products formed are zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. So this is how hydrogen gas is generally prepared in the lab for various purposes. If you found this video helpful in your studies or teaching, then please consider subscribing to my channel and sharing my content with friends, colleagues and anyone for whom this video might be relevant. Thanks for watching.